all right hopefully that worked we should be matched up now um cool all right well today i think it's kind of a cool thing i'm trying i don't know so i just recently started this blog on tumblr just to have another place to to write and get out ideas and stuff um so and then i decided that i want to make video and read my blog out loud because just because i don't know just practice making more content uh, and another outlet to get shit out so today i'm gonna read this very first blog post that i made on tumblr and uh i'm gonna read it out loud make a video maybe put it on youtube probably not share my youtube at all for a while but just add content to it until i'm comfortable with what's all out there um and then release this probably alongside with the podcast just with a a different subtitle um cool all right I'm, i'm gonna read this um so this very first blog post it was titled life is a balancing act and someone put too much slack in my fucking tight rope is this what i'm doing now i'm writing blogs that's pretty fucking cool i guess you ever have thoughts that somehow just refuse to turn into words for you to articulate out loud because i absolutely do hence this blog i've just now decided to start i've always had a fascination with language and the way people use it so elegantly at times I fantasized about movie-like dialogues of me seducing an audience with words, as if I have anything that important to say, lol. This is one of the few things I'm trying to increase my ability to articulate and convey the ideas I'm often just on the brink of but can't get out completely. Someone important in history said something like this, and it's always stuck with me. Genius is measured by a person's ability to take difficult ideas and make them understandable to any common person. I have a multitude of interests and things I give my time to. Podcasting, photography, art, public speaking, video games. There's probably more and they're just escaping me. I'm full of random knowledge and ideas, but all of it feels incomplete. I am absolutely a master of nothing, not one thing. It has me perplexed at times. I'm stuck in between ideas almost all of the time. I'm blessed and cursed with an open mind. Grateful for my ability to put myself in someone else's shoes examine situations widely widely i think a lot on both sides of the fence in most scenarios which has always felt like a good thing until recently now i'm realizing how much harder that makes making decisions though i look at the big picture of life and mortality and i come up with two things the idea of reincarnation karma and living a fulfilled life to your highest potential and graduating to the next stage of life something other than the way we know and experience it That idea just makes me want to make all of the decisions perfectly, as if they've been presented to me on a multiple-choice questionnaire. Because the thought of redoing this whole damn thing is terrifying. Then there is a line of thought that the only thing guaranteed in life is death. And what if when I die, the lights just go out and that's it? Then what was the point? What was the point of all my effort and pain and sacrifice? This conundrum has had me stuck most recently. I can't decide, am I going to be completely nihilist, completely existentialist, or can I find a happy medium? When I think about this thing, I'm trying to find a way to understand. I think of atmosphere as trying to find a balance. Since in my early teens and discovering this song for the first time has been in the top of my favorites. I didn't know then how relevant it would be to me today. Over a decade later, and I'm now trying to find a balance myself. A balance between work and play satisfaction and sacrifice sleep and no sleep sex and no sex substances or no substances discipline and free flow exceeding expectation and not caring about expectation get the point life is a balancing act and someone put too much slack in my fucking tightrope i've actually never read a blog before and even i don't think at least in its entirety i hope there are a ton of grammar and spelling mistakes I heard a quote this week, and I think it's going to be the quote of the decade for me. No one cares. Do better. And bold. But what the fuck do I know? Thanks for reading. You matter to me. Best. Justin Gaiman. That was kind of fun. Video and...